Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 18th through the 24th. Keep in mind that the timing is still fluid. Could be next week. Could be last week. Could be now. Whatever. This is for it, but I'm intending it to be for the 18th through the 24th. And uh, this reading may or may not be for you. Okay, not every reading is, so let's just see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, then we're going to use this deck right here. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 18th? Dear God, Angels, Spirits, and Universe, we just want an overall energy. We got two. Yeah, we're going to have to take them both, huh? No, I'm not sure. They fell out like that, so we're just going to flip them over. But I need to get another stand. So what do we have, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe for Sagittarius? Aha. So we have the Fool and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So this is not putting in effort. Uh, not following through, a lack of commitment, dropping out, foolish, uh, doesn't want responsibility, free spirit. We got somebody here don't want any responsibility. This could be somebody that wants to just be free, right? Free spirited. You know, I don't want to do, I don't want any type of responsibility at all. Okay. So this is a very free spirited energy. Just, I don't want any responsibility. I want to be free. I want to be free. I don't I want to be told what to do. This is, you know, um, acting on impulse, uh, stepping into new situations with blind faith with, you know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This is a very carefree energy. Okay. Very carefree. So this is going to be a week of, you know, the fool is a new beginning. It's starting from scratch, starting over, um, leaving some something behind, um, giving up on something perhaps uh, didn't that didn't work out. Maybe you just didn't want it. You didn't like it. It just didn't work out. Maybe you just decided you'd rather be free, whatever it is. There is a level of... Um, not interested. I'm going someplace else. I'm going to start over someplace else. So this is this is uh, starting a new chapter, starting a new journey, starting a new phase. Um, this is exciting. It's stepping forward uh, fearlessly, uh, having no regrets. Just it's just completely at ease. You know, this is this is complete um, restart. Perhaps you know, it's just like whoo. I'm free. I'm free to do whatever I want. This is exciting. Um, <laughs> interesting. Now there could be some some sort of foolish energy here. I just got to be honest with you. I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the fool is, is, uh, spur the moment, spur the moment, uh, giving up on something that you just don't want to do. It's like, you know what? I don't need this. I'm free. You're free. Monday. Seriously, you guys aren't interested. You are turning your back on something and going someplace else. Starting over, starting fresh, starting a new chapter of your life. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday, Sunday. So, uh, looks as though it starts out 
It starts out as uh, giving up on something. You're giving up on something or somebody else is giving up. Somebody's giving up with the Page of Pentacles reversed. There's no follow through here. So this is a dead end, okay? It's, a, it's definitely a dead end. Um, by the end of the week, you're going to be free of something that just didn't manifest or didn't grow or you didn't want. You're going to be completely free of it by the end of the week. Okay? Monday, this is blocking a partnership, blocking a union, no compatibility. Uh, there could be an argument, there could be a, a, a fight, there could be some nasty words that are said. I just got to be honest with you. This is disharmony, a disconnection, uh, miscommunication or a lack of communication between two people. There could be some bullying. There could be a breakup or a separation or just an argument or a silent treatment of two people. You know, people, are, there's no communication, talking, no talking or a split, a breakup. It's not compatible. It's not meant to be. There's just a disconnection here. Okay. So this, this could certainly be, you know, or a friendship. It could be losing friendships. It's, it's a breakup of some sort, something coming to a stop, communication coming to a stop. Somebody could be getting blocked. This isn't, this isn't working out. There's no more union here. There's no more compatibility. Okay. There's an imbalance. There's a disharmony or there's a fight. There's, there's, there, there's a miscommunication on Monday or, you know, an argument between two people that just are not communicating well. They're not headed in the same direction. So we got a problem that's giving up. So we definitely have a problem here. And on Monday, there could be some words said or not said. You know, silence speaks volumes. It does. So, um, this is blocking a partner, blocking a union, blocking, you know, a partnership. There's there's no compatibility here. There's, there's probably, there's obviously these cups are reversed. There's no love here. No emotional fulfillment. Anyway, Tuesday, the Queen of Swords versus the Page of Cups. The Queen of Swords is very assertive. She's very brash. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this Queen of Swords is very brash. She's very authentic. She's very matter-of-fact and to the point. She is hard to deal with sometimes. She thinks fast. She's very quick. She's very witty. She may be comical, okay? She, has a, she speaks with... Um, or she can be brash, but she also has a candor about her. So it looks as like she's professional. She could be a professional speaker on Tuesday. This could be admiration. So this could be an admirer. There could be a message coming back. There could be communication with this person on Tuesday. Um, this is um, flirting, perhaps. There could be some flirting or admirer. This could be admiration or a crush or somebody that you know, is expressing their feelings or, you know, flirting. There could be some flirting going back and forth with this person. This person is um, probably a little not trusting. This person probably doesn't trust. They're ready to, uh, you know, obviously she's got a weapon in her hand. She's, she's, you know, that's the sword of truth. That's the sword of power. She's ready to fight at a moment's notice. You know, she's ready to protect herself. She's very protective of herself. You know, she has some sort of barrier up. She will listen and she will, you know, she'll think about things as this person will, but she's ready to uh, cut your head off at any given moment. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but she is definitely um, a little intimidating. So we have an intimidating individual here that is being, it feels like sought after sought after so either you're you're gonna be um flirting with this person or that well that's what it looks like to me or this person's gonna vice versa um this person is um probably independent very very independent um but there's some sort of attraction there is definitely some sort of attraction here so this is a message that is is coming in all right this is happy news um somebody is is going to be 
expressing their feelings or they may just have a crush or flirting. So I think there's going to be some flirting going on with an individual that um, is very interesting. I feel like this person is very intelligent. They're um, intriguing. This person is intriguing. Um, and this this guy is a little shy, so I think that, that we have a shy individual with an intimidating individual, and this this shy individual is kind of like, <laughs> you know, shyly uh, expressing themselves. You know, it's kind of it's a shy energy, um, but it's going to be interesting. I think Tuesday will be interesting. On Wednesday, we have the Queen of Wands and the Hangman reversed. This is an individual that is refusing to go in, struggling to let go, obsessed with control, um, hiding something, very egotistical, won't change. So there's an individual that is... Refusing to change will not take time to change does it think that they need to change has a very big ego So I'm not sure if it's you or the person that you're dealing with you could be dealing with a Pisces or a, another fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo this person is confident may be overly confident may think that they are the shit Okay, this is somebody who thinks they are the shit obviously the look on the face. It's just like hmm you know, anyway, and there's nothing wrong with thinking that. That's, that's self-confidence, that's self-esteem. So this person has high self-confidence, high self-esteem, is very determined, um, very comfortable with who they are, very sexy and very attractive. So we, on Wednesday, we have an individual here that is stepping into a trap stepping into a trap with this individual that is very very sexy okay this is a sexy and it feels you know i'm not trying i know that you guys are fire signs but it feels like this person is very cunning there's a very cunning energy here um it's luring somebody in with sex appeal so there's some sort of sex appeal thing on wednesday this guy is is already ta attached already attached you see we have an individual that is already attached and they haven't let go of their other person so I think we got a problem here I think we have a problem here I think on Wednesday there is um, some sort of attraction that is somebody is luring could be another woman could be another man somebody is luring in an attached individual this person is already attached. So there could be some consequences here. I feel like there's going to be some consequences. I do. There's going to be some consequences for uh, getting with somebody that is, that is attached. And I don't know if that is for you or some or the person that you are with, but I just got that message that, you know, this is... this. Yeah. If this is an ex or this is somebody that is being um, lied to, you better be damn careful. You better be damn careful because she is not one to, me to mess with. She has weapons. This one is very cunning and clever. Completely different energy. It's very cunning and clever and lures people in with their sex appeal and their sexy ways. While this one is will shoot you. Not trying to scare anybody, but I'm just saying. I mean, you got to be careful. You and this is consequence. I think that there is some consequences for uh, dealing with an attached individual here. Interesting. Interesting. Somebody could end up um, getting in trouble. They could end up getting in trouble. I mean, this is also the the hangman can be like going to jail it can that could be shackles tied up handcuffs i'm not sure what is going on but uh, you need to be very careful this week i think wednesday could be a day where you know we have this individual that is very cunning and clever and 
Um, they got something up their sleeve and they may get jealous. They may get jealous and, you know, cause some problems. They, there's a, definitely a disconnection within a union. I think there's two people here. I think we have a third party situation where somebody has been cheating with somebody that is attached. And I feel like the attached person is uh, going to get some sort of revenge. And I think this revenge, somebody's going to take some revenge and somebody could end up, you know, with, in handcuffs. Not trying to share any, uh, scare anybody, but that's what I see. They, you know, just got to be very damn careful, damn careful here, because there, it looks to me like there's some sort of consequences. If you look at Sunday, this is why, 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 why the star reverses. Why did this happen? You know, there's some sort of fight or battle where somebody loses their power by Sunday. This is this is a complete setback. The Seven of Wands reverse. This is ruin. This is this is a fall from power. This is slander. This is um, being criticized. This is foul play. I'm telling you what. You may be dealing with somebody that is very revengeful. And when they don't get what they want, they turn their back on you and they get you in trouble. So if I was you, I would not deal with this person. I would walk away. I wouldn't give them your energy. I would turn your back on this because you have a chance right now to go in another direction. I don't know who the hell you are dealing with, but you got somebody here that could take you down quicker than shit. And I don't know where the message is coming from, but that is what I hear. You are dealing with somebody that is very, very alluring. They're very sexy and attractive, but they are attached. And the person, maybe it, I don't know what, or you're attached. So there's somebody here that is attached. And the other person could find out and <laughs> shit could go wrong. Just saying. This is overwhelmed. Okay, temperance, which is your card, comes after death. We talk about it all the time. So this is accepting and allowing change after you learn a lesson. Okay, this is somebody that is trying to prove something, um, carrying a lot of baggage, very overwhelmed, um, has too much on their plate. Um, you may find yourself about to collapse trying to do too much needing to let go of something on Thursday this is an overwhelm it's overwhelmed over the change overwhelmed over what has happened you may feel like this is way 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 too much Something is going to happen earlier in the week. You may find out that whoever you're dealing with, or they, hey, this could go vice versa, is talking to another person. Or they're having sex with another person. Or something like that. There's something going on here. And it's not good. And I think it's going to come out. And it's going to cause an ending. It's going to cause a profound change. Somebody is going to need to find their self-discipline to change. They are going to need to let go. <laughs> they're going to let go. They're going to need to let go of whoever they're holding on to that they don't really want to be with. Because they're obviously holding on to a partnership that they don't want to be with. If they're talking and communicating and wanting to be with somebody else. So I think Thursday is a day of feeling overwhelmed and burdened over the changes that are going on in your life. The changes that have happened. Something is has happened, okay? In regards to a partnership. I feel like somebody has been communicating or talking with another person and they get found out. Or, or maybe even doing worse than talking, you know, sleeping with perhaps, you know, and they get found out and now there's some sort of consequences and it's overwhelming to deal with this. 
it's overwhelming to deal with this breakup and the stress that this person is causing because, you know, this person found out, but they needed to find out. Anyhow, something is going on. Somebody's about to get found out by the looks of things. Somebody has been conversing with another person. Ten of Swords on Friday versus the Three of Cups, third party situation, which I knew there was. So we have an ending. We have the ending of something. Something is ending painfully. We have a, we have, somebody has, and there's a such thing called as emotional cheating, whether you've been having sex with a person or not. If you've been sexting or talking about it or talking with another person while you're in a commitment or leading somebody on while you're with somebody else, that's cheating. So there's emotional cheating here. Somebody has been emotional cheating, which is causing an ending. It's causing a painful separation with somebody else. So we have uh, we have betrayal here. Somebody has been betrayed, and on Friday, it all comes to an end where it's like, <sighs> done. It's over. It's over. This is the death of the situation. Somebody has went as low as they can go. This is goodbye. It's goodbye. I'm not going to be engaged with this. So uh, something is being found out this week. And this is goodbye by, by Friday. It's like this is so painful. This is a, like a near death experience. It hurts. Somebody is being hurt. By the fact. By the fact. This is a fax. By the facts that they hear or they read or whatever. It's just it's a shock. Surprise. And it, well, here's the shock. The Knight of Swords is a shock. In reverse, it is definitely a shock. So we have a relationship that is uh, not going in the right direction. This is a dying dream. There's relationship problems. Somebody acted impulsively. They didn't care who they hurt. They were only looking out for themselves. There's an explosive energy here. We have somebody here that is very ignorant um, there could be definitely be a fight on Friday because this relationship is definitely going in the wrong direction. There's a breakup here. There is. And it's because of a third party. And, there, and it feels like, you know, things could get dangerous. That could get dangerous. It could, you know, there could be an explosion or there could be... It could be like a war zone type of situation. So, you know, it feels like um, there's going to, this is a week of uh, needing to protect yourself for sure. Needing to, to protect yourself and not engage with whoever this person is. Uh, that you've been playing with or they've been playing with you. You know who this is. You know who this is. I know that you do. We have, what, this is depression, this is illness, this is despair, this is feeling ashamed. Why, 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 why is this happening? This is happening because somebody uh, needed attention. So I feel like this week on Wednesday, Wednesday's the day, right around Wednesday with that hangman reversed. It feels like um, we have an individual that is obsessed with control. That right here on Wednesday, they're obsessed with control. And I feel like they are going to cause a problem. They're going to cause a problem. Let me get another card for Wednesday. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Planning. This this night happens to be moving. Taking responsibility. About status. It's about position. It is about the position. It's about being in the top. Being in the 
the top contender of some sort. Because there's definitely competition here. So it's been a, it's been it's all about competition. It's about winning the competition. This is somebody the the Queen of Wands is somebody that is very competitive. So we have a very we have a very competitive individual here who wants to win. Doesn't want to lose. Doesn't like to lose. Golden opportunity. The Queen of Wands on Wednesday, you may be getting a new opportunity. If you look at it this way, this Queen of Wands could be you getting a new opportunity with, uh, you know, it looks like it's an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be, but you have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to change. Because the hangman needs to be willing to change. There's an opportunity waiting for you to see it. You're going to be given an opportunity. But you, but the thing is, it's from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or maybe you're giving it to them. We have stability here. Okay, this is stable, solid, secure. So there's a stable, solid, secure opportunity here. But... Hamie in reverse is refusing to go in and refusing to change and not seeing a situation clearly. Refusing to look at something from a new perspective. Still attached to something. Still stuck. Still stuck to something. Refusing to let go. And it could be ego. Refusing to let go of ego. <laughs> what the fuck is going on on Wednesday? You have a new opportunity that is being presented to you from somebody that is solid and stable, but... You're unwilling to take it for some reason. Why not? Oh, King of Cups reverse. There's somebody that doesn't have good intentions. That is cold and withdrawn and emotionally unavailable that you are probably hanging on to. That is hanging on. The hangman. With the, you are hanging on to an individual. You or somebody is hanging on to an individual that is cold and withdrawn and you know, isn't emotionally available when you have somebody else, but you have to be willing to change and accept something new. So there is always a choice in love. And if you think about the lover's card, there's consequences. So somebody is holding on to somebody that is attached when they have somebody else and they can't see it clearly because they're refusing to see because they're holding on to the wrong one. Well, son of a bitch. So I think there's an opportunity that maybe you're conversing with somebody new that and you should be going down that road because that person is actually independent and free. And that would be your best bet. But you have to make the choice to go down that road and let go of the one that abandoned you and ghosted you and doesn't want to be in a partnership with you. So you have a chance for a new beginning this week, but it's like you're throwing it away. I got it. So this is a week of being overwhelmed by a partnership that is no more when you have a chance for something bigger and better. So my advice is, is to let go of what you're hanging on to, accept and allow change, accept that something is over, it's time to live again, it's time to pick yourself up from rock bottom and stop being in a third party, stop allowing yourself to be the, the third party or whatever it is. Maybe on, on Friday you start to realize that this is dead, it's over, I, I can't be a part of this. And, you know, this is, you know, leaving that relationship behind and, well, Sunday is, is maybe, a, Sunday is feeling ashamed, okay? The star reversed is feeling ashamed. So, I mean, I can't make it up. Somebody, whether you feel ashamed or the person you're dealing with, somebody is going to be feeling ashamed on Sunday for dealing with a third party situation. But... There's an opportunity to leave all this behind and start fresh and start a new journey should you choose to do so. So it ends with you leaving the past behind and going someplace else. 
leaving the, the situation that it was holding you down and burdening you and all that baggage and whatever it is, it's leaving it behind and starting from scratch, starting from zero, starting over, alone, free, free of this whole situation. Good luck.